Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be making like a temple ruins render in the 3D software Blender. To start off, I just scaled up a cube and you can see me here adding in an array modifier. They're really cool. You can like duplicate your object and move them around, but in the render I didn't actually end up using an array modifier. Next, I imported in an image of a column and just modeled around that with extrusions and scales and all kinds of stuff like that. You can see me doing that here. You're gonna wanna make sure you follow the image. That way it looks better when we add in the image texture. So you can see I went ahead and did the bottom of the column as well. Next, I added in an image texture of the column that I just modeled around. And going into the UV editing, I projected it from my view and then just scaled it up and lined it up with the image. You're going to want to make sure you do the same thing for the other sides or else it will look really stretched. And now we're going to work on the texture. Plug the image texture into the normal and into the roughness. And then add in a bump texture and a color ramp. Change the bump from normal to height. Bring in the black and turn the black down to a lighter color. And then turn the strength down on your bump. So now we have to make the archway. The archway is basically the same thing. You add in an image and then you model around that image. You can see here I use a circle and I kind of position it and then I delete the bottom vertices and that way I can select everything, extrude it, and then I moved it to match the bricks that are in like an arch form. I added in a plane and scaled it and moved it around and you can see I put this in fast motion as well. So you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just modeling around that image. It's a super easy and fast way of modeling. Next, you're gonna unwrap it. Then basically do the same thing you did for your columns, just with an archway. And then you can line it up with your image, and there you go. Next, I lined it up with all of my columns. I positioned my camera, I added in a sun, and then added in a plane for water. I also changed the camera to vertical. Next, adding in another plane. This one's gonna be for the sky. So just scale up and make a giant plane and put it in your background. Just make sure it fills the camera. Next, making the material for the water. All you need to do is add in a bump and then a noise texture and then scale your noise texture down, or else it's gonna be way too big, and then turn the scale of the bump down as well. Next, you're gonna add in an image for the sky. You're gonna plug it into the base color and the emission color. I wanted there to be some land underneath the water, so I just added in another plane, and then added in a ground, like, dirt material underneath. Now I'm gonna add in some rocks down below here. I just got some model rocks, and I placed them around underneath my camera, rotating them and scaling them and, and making them look like random rocks. Then I rendered out two images, one has depth of field and one doesn't. Thank you so much for watching this video, that means a lot. Please make sure you hit the like button and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.